Hey everyone, Michael Cavaccini here, and today I'm going to review The Mangler on Blu-ray. This is from Shout Factory, and uh, here you go, you can see the information on the back of the disc here. But yeah, this is a 1995 horror movie starring Robert England of Nightmare on Elm Street, directed by Toby Hooper of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Poltergeist fame, and it's based on a short story by Stephen King. I remember seeing the trailer for this on my VHS copy of Wes Craven's New Nightmare, along with the trailer for In the Mouth of Madness. I have a fond, um, <clears throat> you know, a fondness for both this film and In the Mouth of Madness, so I figured I would review this edition of it to just kind of share my thoughts on the movie and this specific Blu-ray and if it's worth purchasing. So. As I said, this movie came out in 1995. Um, it's based on a Stephen King short story from 1972 of the same name. It, it was featured in his Night Shift uh, collection of short stories. But here's the synopsis for The Mangler. The masters of horror, Toby Hooper, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Robert England, and Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, and Stephen King, Creepshow and Misery, join forces to bring you a shocking tale of terror. Based on King's short story, this white-knuckle chiller follows a cop, Ted Levine, from Silence of the Lambs and the Hills of Eyes, as he investigates a series of grisly accidents and uncovers a deadly town secret that has been hidden for years. A terrifying entity that threatens to destroy everything in its path. With time running out and a young girl's life in the balance, he races to destroy the beast before it's too late. So with this uh, Blu-ray release from Shout Factory, <clears throat> you get a 4K, a new 4K scan of the original camera negative of the uncut version of the film. You also get new audio commentary with co-writer uh, Stephen David Brooks, new uh, Hell's Bells, an interview with Robert England. Uh, you also get rare behind-the-scenes footage, theatrical trailer, and a TV spot. So... Is this movie worth watching? I think so. I mean, it's cheesy, it's corny. Of course, it's 1990s horror, which is not exactly known for being the best decade of horror. <clears throat> but, I don't know. Robert England's performance is excellent. Uh, there are two lines from him that I really love in this movie. One is, he says, in his you know Robert England way, we all have to make sacrifices. Great line. And then I think within the same conversation, he says, uh, there's a little bit of me in that machine and a little bit of it in me. And he just says it with this kind of sinister uh, delivery that is just phenomenal. I mean, Robert England is just a fantastic actor, classically trained, <clears throat> and just really underrated you know he, he's just exceptional in this role and watching the interview with him on the blu-ray you can learn what his influences were for this role and the way he portrays the character of Gartley. for me that was really helpful also in his, the interview with robert england he talks about how this film was filmed in i believe it was in australia actually uh, if i'm remembering that correctly and that wasn't the plan uh things changed budget reasons things like that so they wound up filming it um internationally so a lot of the the actors in the movie you can tell they have an accent but they're trying to act like they're from maine but they sound nothing like people from maine and actually some characters one in particular pretty sure they overdubbed a lot of her lines because like her lips don't match up with what she's saying but i never would have really thought about that had i not watched that interview with robert england so i watched the interview with him before watching the movie again on blu-ray and it actually Gave me a whole new lens, uh, to look, you know, through which I, I, I appreciated the movie as I was watching it. I love Stephen King. I think he's brilliant. Toby Hooper's obviously a fantastic, legendary, um, you know, master of horror. Who unfortunately is no longer with us. So I do think it's absolutely worth watching. I think if you have you grew up in the nineteen nineties like I did, and you have an appreciation for horror, it's you know, the Mangler's a, a good time. As long as you don't take it too seriously. I mean, if you're going in here expecting some sort of brilliant film, that's not what you're going to get. You're going to get a, a ridiculous over-the-top horror movie with 
over the like Robert England on steroids I and mean, then his acting while good sometimes he's so ridiculous in this movie uh, you laugh um but hey it just makes it fun at the end of the day it's a fun movie and with this blu-ray disc you know you get the best version of the mangler i mean you get this high definition you know 4k master you get uh inside here it's a reversible cover so that's cool and um, yeah, audio commentary, behind the scenes stuff. I mean, it doesn't have like a boatload of special features, but it's got enough to uh, scratch that itch. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think, you know, I do recommend it. I think it's a worthwhile purchase if you are a horror fan who likes to have physical media. And yeah, what are your thoughts on The Mangler? Have you watched it? Do you think it's a good movie? Do you think it's crap? Uh, I will not be offended. Just share your thoughts down below. Let me know. If you do want to pick up a copy of this, I will include a link down below. So click that to buy yourself a copy of this Blu-ray on Amazon. Uh, what other Robert Englund movies do you like? I mean, obviously Nightmare on Elm Street comes to mind, but he has a whole lot of other movies. So what else do you like with Robert Englund? Or what do you like uh, Toby Hooper's done? Or are you a Stephen King fan? Um, he, The fact that he continues to put out amazing work at his age considering his body of work i mean he's got so many so many classics he could have just stopped writing long ago yet he continues every year to just keep putting out new material that's just fantastic it's just remarkable so no wonder there's so many movies and tv shows that have uh, literally been adaptations of his incredible work but anyway that's it for now that is the mangler on Blu-ray from Shout Factory. You know, what are your thoughts on this movie? Feel free to comment down below. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope all of you have a fantastic day. And remember, we all have to make sex.